Welcome back to the channel. I had a request from YouTuber Love the Blue. He wanted to see a comparison video of Attack from Mars VPX versus FX3. So I picked out my favorite Attack from Mars VPX table here. That would be JP's 3.0. And then we'll be comparing that with Attack from Mars FX3. So let's give it a flip and see what it's like. Okay, I'm not going to bore you guys with the rules because we've all played Attack from Mars before, but let's see how this JP 3.0 VPX table plays. See if I can pick up that extra ball. Here we go. Then get the shield knocked down, and then get the multi ball started. Okay, we got the shield down. Let's see if I can backhand the lock up there. Probably the hardest shot in the table. Oh, there we go. See if I can get this saucer destroyed, pick up some jackpot. happened there. It's about the worst multi-ball ever.
I got all the country saved. Now we're on attack from Mars. Oh. Oh, damn it. Oh, right when I get to attack from Mars, instant drain. Well, there's a good look at JP's Attack from Mars 3.0 BPX table. Now let's check out the FX3 version. Now let's check out the FX3 version of Attack from Mars. This is the single player version. It's the only one I have access to on this machine. It comes in pretty much three different difficulty levels, single player, arcade, and pro level physics. So unfortunately this is, I uh, only have the easiest one to compare it to the BPX table, but let's see how it plays regardless.
Most annoying mode in pinball, the Martian's attack. <laughs> Thank God it's over. Shouldn't have started the multi ball in the first saucer, but oops. some jackpots in here. You can just see how much easier the gameplay is compared to the VPX table. Just a lot less randomness of the ball bouncing around on the single player FX3. It's almost like there's less uh, lanes for the ball to go. It's almost hard to brick the ball on this table. Compared to the VPX where you saw how, how often, how easy it was for me to brick the ball on the post if I missed my, if I was off by a little bit. Here it's like way more forgiving. You just go up the ramp no matter what. It's more, it plays more like a video game rather than a simulation. For the VPX, it definitely plays more like simulation pinball. Definitely still a lot of fun though. I do enjoy these FX3 tables.
scoring there. There's no way I'd be able to repeat that over and over again on the VPX table or in real life. Here, let's switch it up. <laughs> Three extra balls, damn. <laughs> so after I drain, I'm still gonna be on ball number one.
usually my strategy for this table is um, don't even go for the saucer unless you have a multi wall because it, uh, it just drains down the middle too often. So you're better off just uh, cashing in your, your ramps, getting your points for combos. And then if you happen to drop the core shield, try to get that multi ball to destroy the saucer. Seems to work pretty good. And if I do go for the saucer, I definitely try to do it off the right flipper. Seems more prone to drain right down the middle off the left for whatever reason. Damn it, should have dropped that force shield. Surprised I didn't go all the way up the ramp. He usually never does that. Fourteen billion after ball one.
that one up. Okay, last ball here, ball three. <laughs> I don't think I've ever put up this high of a score before. So I say this shit is unrealistic. Well, there you guys have a little look at the differences between BPX Attack from Mars and FX3. 